Hello all. Welcome to lecture number 4 of our Linux series. Now, in the previous videos, we have taken a quick theoretical knowledge about what is Linux. In our previous video, we have done the setup of CentOS inside our virtual machine. But now, VirtualBox come with few problems and we'll be fixing those problems in this video. First of all, we'll be fixing the bidirectional drag and drop and mouse problems. Then we'll be installing some extra packages so that we can have a great experience and we can make our CentOS full screen without any laggy experience. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, uh, I'll tell you a few settings into the virtual box that will make your life easier. So you need to select the virtualized machine and then you need to go inside settings. Once you will go inside settings, you will go into the system settings. Here you will see the pointing device. Now you can go for PS2 mouse or you can go USB options. So likewise, if your mouse is not behaving well or if your virtual box is not able to capture your mouse, you can go ahead and try for the different settings. I'm going to go for the USB mouse, which is why I'm going to opt for USB tablet. So I'm going to click OK over here. Next up is general settings. Inside general settings, you need to go into the advanced settings. Once you will go inside the advanced settings, you will see the shared clipboard option, which means you can share the clipboard. Whatever you will copy and paste, even from the primary host, that is Windows in this case, and to the virtualized machine, that is CentOS, you can copy paste in between them. So you need to go for the bi-directional settings in this case. Next up is drag and drop feature in between your host machine and your virtualized machine. So it is a good option to go with the bi-directional with them. You can copy and paste from your host to virtualized or from the virtualized to the host machine. Now this is the very basic setting about your copy paste and the mouse issues. Next setting is about the video memory settings. For that, you need to go inside the settings. And once you go inside the settings, you need to click on display. When you click on display, by default, it will be right here with let's say 4 MB or 8 MB. You need to increase it till 128 MB because if you will not increase this, then the extra packages that will be installing in few seconds from now won't support your system. So you need to increase the video memory to 128 MB. Once you click OK on this, then you need to start your virtual machine again. So make sure you don't do any kind of these changes when your virtual machine is in the running state, then it won't allow you to do so. So you need to power off the state of your virtual machine. Then only you can do these kind of editing inside the virtual box settings. All right. So now you can see that my mouse is captured properly. And when I go outside the host, it's working well as well. So I'm going to log into my system real quickly. So first of all, in order to make this full screen, you need to work a little bit on terminal. Make sure you cross check that your internet connection is working. So let me open my Firefox and let's see if my internet connection is working, though we have fixed the internet connection in our previous movie. So again, we can see that there is a problem in connecting the site. So that's why I always recommend that you check your internet connection. I'll click on connect. So let me just reload this and you can see that my YouTube is now working properly. Okay, let me close this. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open my terminal. Once I open my terminal, now I'm going to uh, hit few commands that you need to understand. First of all, I'm going to go for sudo yum hyphen y for yes. Yum is the package manager and sudo is the super admin but we'll be reading all about this into the upcoming videos. So you need not to worry about it as a beginner. I'll be teaching you all the commands one by one. But right now you need to write sudo yum hyphen y and then we need to install GCC. GCC is what? GCC is new compiler. So you need to install that. So it is again prompting me for the password. I'll put that real quickly and I'll hit enter. Now you can see that it is loading mirror speed and you can see that the updates are getting installed 
but few were already there so we are on to the latest versions make sure that you are not receiving any error in here once you are done with this then you are going to uh, install old packages so you need to go for sudo yum install perl or you gonna go for make perl okay so you're going to hit sudo yum install make perl so i'm going to hit enter and again it is loading the packages from the nearby mirror and it is prompting me for is this okay it is going to take 8.6 mb i'm going to hit yes i'm going to prompt yes again And you can see that it is completed now half of the part is done we need to run two more commands in order to achieve this so we'll be going for sudo yum hyphen y and then i'm going to install kernel devil and then i'm going to pass my uname parameter so again don't be panic about these commands we'll be learning all about them now you can see that it's right here package kernel is already installed and the latest version is right here it might can take some time in your case next up we need to fire this command that says sudo yum install and then you need to go for elf utils lib elf and then the devil now this is the command that you need to run I'm going to hit enter and now it is loading the mirrors I'm going to say yes for the available updates if there are any it is going to take a while okay seems like it is completed very quickly now next up our part for the terminal is done next up i'm going to go into the devices here you will see this option that says insert guest editions cd image so i'm going to mount this and once you'll click on this you'll automatically see that there is v box that contains software intended and would you like to run it yes i would like to run it and then it will prompt me for the password and i'm going to authenticate it and then it will extract all the packages of guest editions okay so for a while it felt like nothing has happened but in the end i got the prompt says enter to return to the window which means everything has extracted in a perfect manner now what we are going to do is that we are going to restart our system so i'm going to shut it down i'm going to power it off and then we are going to restart the system and then let's see if we are able to make our centos full screen so i'm going to start my centos once again so let me just log in real quickly okay so seems like everything looks real time now nothing is laggy right here but let's take a final check when we'll go into the view and let's try to make it into the full screen mode now make sure you see that which one is your host key because host plus f is the shortcut to come back from the full screen so make sure note that the main menu bar is hidden full screen mode you can access it by pressing host plus home so so in order to go for the main menu you'll go for host plus home or if you want to exit from full screen you will go for host plus f now i'm going to go for switch screen so when i switch it up i think it looks really amazing we can also close this prompt right here okay so now this screen looks very clear to me and this looks like it is a primary operating system and nothing is laggy here so this is the best settings that you should work on if you will 
work or learn in a laggy environment then of course it will be very boring but then if you are keeping your settings right then it will be very easier for you to learn Linux. But that's it for this video. From the next video we'll start learning the main modules of Linux which is very exciting. So let's get started from the next movie. I'm excited to see you into the next video.